Anyway, okay, so I start off with telling them, you see this little girl here? Look at the look at the at the children, and tell me what you see when you are looking at all of them and you look at it in their face. Tell me what you see. Then I say to them, you don't have to tell me. Let me tell you. This little girl right here. The social workers have taken her out of her home. And it's put her in a neighborhood where she knows nobody. And she's trying to find and look and see if it's somebody that she might know or they might look like her family. This young boy here, he is a LD, which is called a slow learner. Okay. Uh, not necessarily handicapped, but he has a problem with remembering and studying. Mm -hmm. And he also have a problem with knowing how he want a friend, but he don't know how to approach to get a friend. And so that's why you see now, and for instance, he's in the classroom. And you see, he wants to teach and recognize him, but he's afraid he don't know. So he, one hand's gone up and the other pulling it back down. This young man right here, now, uh, look in his face, look in his eyes and tell me what you see. And now let me tell you, it's some fighting going on in his home. And he's mad with the world because he's small and he can't do anything about it. This young lady right here, they poor but love in their home. This young man right here, you have to watch him because he'll throw a rock and hide his hand. He's a slick. He's a slick of now. The young man over on the end is like Dr. George Washington Carver. He's going to think himself out of poverty. Hmm. Now, when you look at all of them again, tell me which one would you give some help to? Which one would you help? Then let me tell you which one you would need to help. It would be this young man here. Because if somebody don't get to him and help him, he's going to recruit this one here because he needs a friend. He's going to recruit him because he want to get in some devilment. So instead of having one killer, you'll have three killers on your hand. Now, how do you solve that problem? You take this young man here, and you make him your age. You tell him how smart he is, and how you would like for him to help you with him because he don't learn as fast as you all does. And then you will put him on the front seat up at the front, and you tell him, and watch him for me so he won't hurt the other children while I'm working with this one here. Now, you have him on your side. So you give him responsibility. You give him responsibility. Never ask him, can you help him? Because he don't think he needs any help. He's mad. He's not thinking. He, he, he's just mad. So all you're going to do is get him to help you. After you get him to help you, then you constantly tell him how smart he is. And how grateful you are that he's helping you. And how you need him, badly need him to help you because it's difficult to help so many children. And all you're trying to do is win his confidence. After you got him working with you for about two weeks, then you will tell him, I brought a sandwich to school. My religion don't allow me to throw away food, but I can't eat it because I feel sick. Would you please eat it for me because I can't throw it away. Take it outside and eat it for me. Now all you're trying to do is give him a sandwich, but if you ask him if he's hungry, he's going to tell you no. But he'll go eat that sandwich for you, and that's what you're trying to do. Then you begin to tell him, tell your mother, I'm going to to come by and tell him how great you are, how smart you are, because his problem is not at the school. His problem is at home. And you got to get to that house. And they're not going to just let you walk in. So you tell him, and in about a month's time, you read it on a Saturday. And put you on some blue jeans and sort of wrinkle a little bit. Don't have them too iron. And put you on those shirt. And you go to the house. But you don't never tell him when you're going because you don't want him to tell the parents because they might say, well, I can't have visitors. Because, see, their house might not look up to Paul. So you knock on the door. 
And when they open the door, you say, oh, don't pay me no mind how I'm dressed because I don't dress up. You know, I don't, I'm tired. I don't dress up and I don't clean up my house because I don't have time. I teach the children. And I just have to come by and tell you how great your child is. You, he, He's beautiful. And he's going to be a lawyer, a doctor. He's so great. And I just have to tell you because, honey, he just helps me all the time. But the way you dress, they're going to let you in anyway because you've already said you don't clean your house, and they're looking at how you dress. And the minute you walk in, take a glance at the room to see what they need. And a glance don't mean you're going to look. Just glance and sit down. Then you're talking to her. You're not looking around. You're talking to the mother. And eventually you'll see if might need some curtains or might need a sofa, whatever the need is. Before you go, say, guess what? You all are so nice. And you're raising that child so nice. Somebody just gave me some curtain. And yeah, I told y'all I don't clean up, but they knew. And I want to give them to you because your son, he helps me a lot. And, and I'm going to give them to you. Don't worry about putting them up because I send some one of the students or something and to put them up for you. Then They're they going to accept it. But that's how you're going to win the love to get in there. And once they trust you, then they will tell you, the problem they're having. Then you can begin to tell them how it is affecting the child and his said meanness is setting up in him and he needs counseling and needs some help. And and most times when you talk to them like that, they will also come from time to time if they don't do number come and sit in the back of the classroom, but they will get to know you and they'll get to like to school. And that's the best the best person because they gonna get on the telephone. See, poor people got a telephone tree, and the word gets out. Don't take it long, and and and, and they get on that phone and talk about how good the school is, how good the teacher is, how they how they uh, helping your child. That's what you want to get out. You don't want nothing to get out where you ain't doing nothing. You want it to get out where you are helping. But you always remember if you look in a child's eyes, it will tell you. What's going on in their home? And this this example of these babies on this on this painting says exactly what you just said. Because as, as you go and scan each one of them, you you really get a chance to see the pain, uh -huh. the frustration, the right. fear, the anxiety, every element is there. What about this young lady just next to the angry young fella? What did you say about him? This one here? Yes, ma'am. It's love on. It's, it's love in their home. They poor people, but it's a lot of love in the home. There's no fighting and fussing and going on in that home. So what, what would be her prescription? What would, what would she need to get from you? You just keep everybody else away from her so she can get her work done? No, no, no. All he all he gonna help me with is this one right here and this one right here. I can handle the others. Okay. So just he, that, just that too. The fellow. This one here, he gonna keep him from being a killer, and this one here, he gonna keep him from mixing up with the killers and 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 become a killer himself. And everything else is on automatic pilot. Right, right. That is incredible. I really appreciate you taking the time, sweet Alice. You got a doctorate from from Southern California University, and you teach. This ongoingly? This, uh -huh. These kinds of lessons ongoingly? Uh -huh. I wanted to get that on camera. Uh, I'm going to put it on on YouTube. I saw some other stuff about you and what you do on YouTube as well. So uh, I, 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 heard, I heard about it, but I haven't put anything there myself. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you did. <laughs> I, I saw it, and it's a very good piece on you. It's like a documentary on you. Yeah. And uh, I, what I intend to do is put this up there along with that, and that way people can actually get... They, this time they get a chance to see you in action. Like right. The other stuff showed showed you're getting honors and everybody talking about how wonderful you were in this. Yeah. And this time we showed them. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome. Anytime.